Good morning, everybody. I'm Jenny Barron. I'm thrilled to be with you today. We welcome Lionel Groclaud, CEO at FIM. Over the 20 last years, FIM has become the worldwide leader in testing services for payment solutions and has developed a consultancy offering. Lionel Groclaud, I'm very happy to welcome you here today. Yeah. What are the main economic and political um, concerns in payment? So first of all, payment is really the core of every business. And it comes, as you said, with two major challenges. The economic one, it's a 2,000 billion market, which can represent up to 30% of the bank income. And it creates a special relationship between the bank and its customer, whether it's merchant or consumer. Uh, because you know, usually it's the first service which is provided, and it creates you know, a daily interaction. It comes also with a political challenge. First, we are moving towards a cashless uh, economy. And even though the cash is the main way to pay, it is reducing. And up to, um, if you go to Norway, for instance, 80% of the transactions are now non-cash. There is also a challenge to give access to the banking services to as many people as we can mm -hmm. through fintechs or traditional bank. And the last one is about sovereignty making sure that your payment system is always on. We all have in mind what did happen in the UK a few months ago where the failure, the outage of a big network payment system, it paralyzed the country for four hours, but also you need to keep control of this payment system. And that's the job that is currently uh, done by the European Commission to define you know, what should be the European payment strategy to limit the influence or the dependency on large American and mm -hmm. Chinese players. So what makes you so different from your competitors on the market? Well, basically, I mean, we are in this market for more than 20 years. Okay. I mean, and our expertise cover all the solution, all the payment solution, whatever it is uh, at the payment store, uh, in-app, online. I mean, we break into the, this market through testing services, but now our services go far beyond. And why? Because this market is disrupted on a regular basis by new players, new technologies, new regulatory framework. And what we do is really to help our customer, the bank, the schemes, the fintech, the merchants, the vendors, you know, to develop payment solutions which are simple, fast, and secure. To do that, we've got three main lines of business. Mm -hmm. First one is consulting, but I would say it's um, targeted consulting in a way that we provide strategic consulting, but operational enough to make sure that we can go with our customer throughout you know, that journey. The second one is we are software editor for testing solution. Mm -hmm. It's when our customer decide to do the test by himself. And the third one is testing services, when our customer decide to outsource the test to us. Why? For two reasons, for quality assurance reasons, or because they want us to help them to get you know, certain accreditation, like Visa, MasterCard, or NPCI in India accreditation. All this possible because of our 450 people. And that's a nice size because it's a size that allows us to be truly global, but also to stay agile and to be able to adapt to this really moving market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we understand that it's always evolving. But yeah. by the way, what are the, the big market trends that are coming in the market? Well, I see, I would say four. Okay. Four main trends. The first one is the growth of the new players. So FinTech, of course, through open banking and PSD2 in Europe but also the GAFA and some large Chinese player like WeChat or Alipay. Okay. Those guys are mainly coming from the digital world and they are breaking into the payment market and setting up new user experience standards. The second trend is this user experience and the challenge here is to transform payment from a necessary able, you know, you are queuing in a, in a shop, you are waiting for your check at the restaurant, you, know, you are struggling with many passwords for the checkout on online payment, and to transform that into what we call a frictionless experience. If you do so, you are now able to differentiate through the payment customer experience. And how? Give access to multi-channel payment system, okay. fast payment, and also build up some customized marketing offerings like a grouping, like customer loyalty program. The third trend is that user experience cannot come at the expense of security. Yes. And here, we've got you know, two main ways to protect customers. One is biometry, fingerprint, facial recognition. I'm sure you heard about the new trial done by Amazon yes, where you can absolutely. pay with your hand. Or you know, the new biometric card which is coming. Second one is artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. is how can you check 
uh, through artificial intelligence the risk of each and every transaction. And this is well you know, defined in Europe by two regulations, PSD2 on one side and GDPR on the other. The fourth uh, trend, I think that we're going to see uh, more consolidation in this market for two reasons. One, to get a critical mass. This is what we have seen in the US uh, over the summer, you know, with the merger of large you know, acquirers, but also for innovation. And because we see large players looking at very innovative start tech you know, to foster the innovation process. So what is FIM future? Well, you know, building simple, rapid, uh, secure solution is actually quite complex. It requires to put together different technology breaks. Definitely. And it creates some challenge of interoperability challenge. To do that, you need to also to review your testing process. And the testing has to be uh, quicker. That's why we have automated our testing process. We have now all of our labs are equipped with robots. It has to be smarter. That's why we have developed some artificial intelligence in our tool. And it has to be simple or simpler. So uh, that's why you know, we have um, defined a process to digitalize you know, the end-to-end -end testing process, and we give access to the solution through the cloud. Also to simplify it? To simplify, exactly. So that's the point. That's yeah. the point. Really, so how can you digitize to simplify it? It, you come, it come also with some new expertise, and we are heavily investing in biometry, in uh, security for mobile application, in uh, data management, but also in open banking and on transport to help our customer you know, to move to open loop system. We are doing all that and with this we believe that we can keep our position as a trusted uh, advisor for all the players in the payment market. And I'm sure you will definitely. Thank you very much. Well, Yonel Goklu, thank you so much for today. Uh, it was a pleasure to welcome you here. Thank, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.